Hey, what's up interesting people? Daniel here from Never Enough Tech. This video is dedicated to bone conduction headphone enthusiasts, in particular, those that want to extend their bone conduction headphone use to conference calls, and even more in particular, those that are fans of the brand Shox, formerly known as Aftershocks. So now that I've isolated this down to tens of viewers, I want to answer a very specific question. Is it advisable to buy just the Open Run Pro, Shox's flagship set, for both your workouts and conference calls? Or will you probably also need to buy the OpenCom to get the mic quality you need to stay employed? Remember, you're a Shox fan, I warned you in the beginning. In my last OpenCom review, I compared the mic quality to the Aeropex, which has been renamed to Open Run, um, and it was plain. The OpenCom captures voice clearly as it should, and the Aeropex, well, it mixes your voice with bathroom material. Also confirmed by numerous snarky coworkers. So did Shox up their game with the Open Run Pro? Well, if you're researching this on your own with any sort of rigor, you should probably come to the conclusion, no. You would discover both Aeropex and Open Run Pro have dual noise canceling mics, so well, that advertising point is not the BFD you are looking for. And if you were to call Shox customer service, the nice Shox ladies will tell you the Aeropex and Open Run Pro have something like the exact same mic system, no upgrades. And voice quality should not be compared to the OpenCom. So that's where this video should probably end. There's your answer. But eh, that's not how it played out in real life. Let's do a sound comparison between the Aeropex Open Run Pro and OpenCom. This is a test of the Aftershocks Aeropex. This is a test of the Aftershocks Aeropex. Hey Mike, how's the landscaping? Second, this is a test of the Shox Open Run Pro. This is a test of the Shox Open Run Pro. Hey Linda, did you survive the conference? This is a test of the Shox OpenCom. This is a test of the Shox OpenCom. Hey Peter, we have sort of a problem here, yeah. You apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on the TPS report. For whatever reason, the Open Run Pro voice seems noticeably less distorted than the Aeropex. The OpenCom sounds the cleanest, but maybe this time, not the cleanest enough for buying two headsets. My best explanation for why the Pro sounds better than the Aeropex is that Shox changed the location of the mic holes from the side and back of the right bud to the front and side so that the mics are generally a little closer to your mouth. As the mics are quite removed from the mouth, a little directional change could make a very big difference. While I don't have an open run set, they are essentially the Aeropex with some Bluetooth charging and battery enhancements. The open run mics do keep the Aeropex mic position. As such, I would expect the voice quality of the open run to be similar to the Aeropex. So to the original question, I think you have a three-tiered mic quality choice with the pros being closer to the OpenCom than the Aeropex. You may feel differently. If you're thinking of buying the pros, you have my full endorsement. They're a great overall set. Best shocks has ever made. Quick review there. Use them for your teleconferences. See if your coworkers drop hints that your voice is not in the Oberton window. You're breaking up. It's too quiet a little trouble hearing you, ask your most honest coworkers if there's anything weird with your voice. If you're not getting negative feedback, maybe skip on the OpenCom and get tons of value out of your Open Run Pro purchase. I've tested the waters with the Pro and no one has yelled at me as with the previous Shox after Shox headphone versions. Anyway, gonna wrap this up. See, I can do quick videos. Didn't know I had it in me. Catch you on the next one.